Hi, Lucy. How are you? I am good, Kat. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So I see that you're back in the office. Yes, so it's been a busy week at work, um, and I've fallen at work. Um, I fell. I was on a ladder trying to get some stuff out of the ceiling, and I fell. I bumped my head, my knee, and my left ankle. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Mm -hmm. I think what we should do is start off with a cranial nerve exam, okay. and then we'll go ahead and do the knee and foot examination. Okay. So I'll start off with just taking your vitals. Okay. Um, just gonna listen to your heart. Is it okay if I move this down? Yes. Okay, I'll have you take a deep breath in. And release. Do the same thing with the bell. So you have a strong heart beat. Good. When's the last time that um, you had the flu or a fever? Um, probably like last year. Okay, so it hasn't been any time recent. So no. Just go ahead and take your temperature. 97.7. .7. Okay, no signs of fever. Let's check your oxygenation. BPM is 84, the normal range as well. Have you ever had your blood pressure taken? Yes. Is this arm okay? Yes. So you will feel just a little bit of pressure. Just relax. Yeah, good. And have you ever had high or low blood pressure? No, but it, it's in my family history. Okay, good. I'm glad we're doing a quick check for that then. Are you currently in any pain? Um, my head is a bit dizzy. Um, my ankle hurts, but that's really it. Okay. We're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Okay. Over 75 is a good sign, not elevated. And do you have a headache or anything like that? Uh, yeah. A little it's, bit. Um, so I hit my head actually behind my ear in a really sensitive spot. So it's radiating up towards my, like the top of my head. Okay. And are you having any ringing, or ringing in the ears? Yes. Okay. And are you feeling okay? I feel a bit weird. Do you mind if I just go get some water quickly? Oh yeah, for sure. <gasps> Are you okay? What? What happened? I think you should sit back. Oh my god. What happened? I think you fainted. Oh my god, that's never happened to me Okay, before. sit back down. Should we call 911? No, I think I'll just get you that water, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I have this bottle of water oh, for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, take, take a few sips there. Thank you. And if you end up feeling dizzy again, just let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Do you feel well enough to continue? Yes. Okay. I do. So I am just going to take a look into your eyes. Okay. And so what I'm going to have you do is um, just look at my nose. I'm just going to take a look. are dilating, reacting to light, which is great. So I'm gonna have you just follow the light for me. Okay. Okay, 
Okay. Do you feel dizzy from that at all? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just let me know if you need a break. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to do a quick um, eye examination test. So I'm going to have you look at my nose, and I'm going to put my fingers in front of your face. Okay. I want you to tell me when you don't see my fingers anymore. Okay. No. 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 And tell me when you do see them. Perfect. So I have a Snellen chart here, and I would like for you. I have the Snellen chart here. I'd like for you to read the letter for me that I'm pointing at. P. O. D. C. L. H. C. T. C. Let me read the bottom line. L. T. F. Good. Is this green? Yes. What color is this? A uh, pink or red. What number of circle is the smallest? Two. And then the third biggest? Third biggest would be seven. Okay, perfect. I'm going to have you put this above um, your right eye. Okay. And tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Two. Five. Okay, and the other eye? Oh, yeah. Uh, three. This. Does that mean I have a concussion? It might mean that you have a concussion, um, but we're going to keep going, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a really quick look at your retina, um, okay. just to make sure that hasn't been damaged at all. Um, that could be causing some of the dizziness, or okay. it might just be like the ear has been damaged. Okay. But let's go ahead and check the eye. Okay. So I'm going to have you look this way for me. Okay. I'm just going to come close and take a look. All right, so it looks like the retina is still attached, which is good. I'll have you look up. No popped blood vessels. No signs of redness. Okay, does that ear hurt? Sorry, does that eye hurt all? I don't no. Know. Good. I'll check the other eye now, so I'll have you go this way. Okay, so the retina is attached very good, and I don't see any popped blood vessels. I'll have you look up. No excessive tearing. Perfect. Any pain? No. Good. I'm going to move on to checking your ear. Okay. So um, this side wasn't as um, hurt as the other one, right? Yes. Okay, I'll have you look this way. Okay. And I'm just going to have a feel of the ear here. Any pain? No. I love your earrings, by the way. Thank you. So I'm just going to have a look. I want to make sure that there's, the eardrum isn't shattered. So I'm going to pull your ear back. Okay. Okay, so I see the tympanic membrane is pearl gray. Very good. I don't see any signs of bleeding or obstruction of any kind, which is really good. We'll definitely do a, a hearing test on that side as well. Okay. Um, but I'll move on to your other ear. Thank you. So I'm going to have you face uh, this way. Okay. Be very gentle with this side. I feel like you did hurt yourself. So this side is probably a little sorry. Yeah, it is. I also do have a bump just behind my ear uh, where it hit as well. Um, um, I do see that, yes, unfortunately. Yeah. And how long ago was this? Um, this happened Monday, so about four days. Does look like it is healing. Okay. When it starts to show like a darker purple, um, but I would definitely keep an eye on it, especially if you're getting like, if you're fainting. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, definitely. If you do have another fainting spell, um, you might want to just head over to the ER. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll have you look this way. Yeah. Okay, so the tympanic membrane is pearl gray. There's no sign of bleeding or bruising on the inside. Maybe just a little bit um, more towards the front of the earlobe here. Nothing to be too concerned about. Have you been vomiting at all? 
Um, no, but I felt very nauseous. Okay. Let's do a really quick hearing test. I have um, what I call a tuning fork here. Okay. That's the sound that it makes. Okay. So I want to make sure you can hear the same on both sides. And so just say yes when you hear it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Did you do it? Yes. I didn't hear it. But now I can hear it. Yes. Good, okay. Is it a little bit more muffled on that side? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, I want you to tell me if this is closer or further away. Okay. Closer. Further away. Further. Closer. Okay. Let's do another uh, little test here. I'm gonna okay. spray um, this side and then this side. Okay. I want you to tell me if it sounds the same on each side. Okay. Um, this one felt closer. Okay. Yes. Good, okay. Um, I'm also going to do, do you hear this? Yes. And this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just say which ear it is when you feel it. Left. Right. Right. Left. Very good. And I want you to just tell me, um, I'll have you actually close your eyes and uh, guess the sound. Water. Sounds like water. Okay, so I have two water Maybe. sounds. This okay. is one. Okay. Okay. One. Can you tell the difference between them? Yes. So this will be one. Okay. This will be two. Okay. One. Two. Two. One. One, one, two. Great. All right. Did you um, hit your nose at all? No. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put some gloves on and I'll have a really quick feel of the nose just to make sure that it's not broken or okay. fractured or anything like that. Okay, thank you. And since I have my gloves on, I'm going to also just have a quick feel of overall of your face. Okay. And your, um, your scalp as well, your head. I don't feel any bumps, so that's good. There might be a piercing feeling on this side, is that correct? Yes. And how about this side? Uh, no, not on that side. How you open your jaw just a little bit? Any pain? No. And let me close your jaw and I'm just having a feel of your nose. And have you ever broken your nose before? No. Any discomfort? No. And what about the sinuses? Um, it's a bit tender. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do a uh, smell test. Okay. Just to see if your senses are still in order, your cranial senses. Uh, strawberry. Good. Um, banana? Yes, very good. Perfect, good job. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to move on to do a um, taste test. Okay. I'm just gonna start off by having a look into your mouth just to make sure that there's no broken teeth. All right, very good. Perfect, no broken teeth. Um, did you bite your tongue at all during the fall? No, um, but the sides of my cheek, like when I fell, it just kind of got pushed into. Gotcha, um, do you mind yeah. just going like this with your yeah. hands? Okay, we do, I do see a little bit of redness there. Mm -hmm. um, 
But it's not bleeding currently, so no. as long as it's not bleeding, you should be good. Mm -hmm. It started to peel here. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. you scraped a bit mm -hmm. of your skin. It might come off. You might have it flake into your mouth, and you can just, like, spit it out. Okay, thank you. So uh, let's go ahead and do a taste test, just to make sure your cranials for your taste sensation are working properly. Wait, did I get it? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, sorry, wait, sorry, it's I just wasn't looking. All right, let me know what does that taste like. Mm, um, blue Raz. Yes, yes, yes. It's a good flavor. It is my favorite. Let's oh, go. Last, last time I was here, you had a really good grape one. Yeah, it was really yeah. good. I make my own tincture. Oh, I really like them. Yeah, I'll have to give you some. Thank you. So what I'm going to do now is sharp or dull. Um, I'll do this on your face, your chest area, your legs. Is that okay. all right? Yes. Perfect. This is sharp. Okay. That's dull. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. dull. Sharp, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, 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 dull, dull, sharp, sharp, dull. All right, I'm going to do sharp, dull, or cold now. This okay. is cold, okay. Okay. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Dull. Cold. Cold. Dull. Cold. Cold. Dull. Sharp. Cold. Cold. Sharp, dull, cold. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on your knees. Okay. Um, I'm going to listen uh, to your knees with my stethoscope and do a few tests just to see if one is more immobile than the other. Okay. Um, and also on my uh, the paper that I am for or filled out before this, I got surgery on my left leg twice. Oh, okay. Thank you yeah. for telling me. Actually, I do see the scars, so I'll do a few measurements on those. Perfect. Thank you. And I'm just going to take my gloves off. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, if it's okay with you, I'll have you lift up your leg and cross it over yeah. to that. Are you comfortable? Yes. So let me go ahead and take a quick look at the scars here. So it looks like you've got one that's sort of about an inch. Um, I'll do a measurement there and then another one here. Another one there. Is it? Is it just the three? And then this one. Oh, wow. That's the main one. Ouch. So what was the reason for this? So I actually got two surgeries. I tore my ACL in high school playing soccer. Um, and then I tore it again a year later. So I had to get two surgeries. Wow. And how are you um, doing after that? It's, it's okay. It's, it's not painful when it's warm out, but when it's cold outside, it's pretty tough to get uh, working and moving. Oh, that makes sense because you might have, do you have any metal in there? Uh, no, I don't, actually. They said one more, and I would. Okay, I'm just going to measure the body fat. Does this hurt at all? No, it's pretty numb there, actually. Really? Okay. So it's about an inch and a half. Wide. And then about... Just about half an inch wide, actually. The, the length was one and a half, and then just... Okay, perfect. Let me take a look at this one here. This, um, when I fell at work, this is actually the knee that I 
hit, so I was just worried about it. Yeah, no, for sure. That's, um, I'm really glad that you told me because it's important to check this out. Yeah, thank you. Of course. Okay, so no discomfort there. Is it yeah. numb as well? Um, it's pretty numb, yeah. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do a measurement. So this one looks like it's about the same sort of thing here, but it's not as... Um, doesn't show up as much as this one. This one's quite intense there. Mm -hmm. But I don't see any bruising on them, which is good. Do a really quick check on this one here. One inch wide and quarter. Or one inch long, so about that and quarter of an inch wide. Mm -hmm. Two. Um, two since my fall, there's, I have a scar down here, and um, there's been a bump that's come up. I don't know if it's a concern or if it's just scar tissue right there. I didn't have that before the fall. Um, I just don't know if that's something I should get checked out before. Hmm, I think it might just be scar tissue because, I mean, on a scale of one to ten, how does this feel? It's numb. It's, it's not very painful. Um, the fact that it's numb and it's not a full scar worries me just a little because yeah. you should be having feeling there. Um, yeah. Let's do a quick sensation test. Okay. So I want to make sure that you can feel cold. This is cold. Okay. And then let me do a sharper dull test. I'll have you close your eyes and we'll get started. Sharp. Cold. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Okay, so you do have your sensations. Um, I'm just thinking maybe the nerves that are more located towards the inside of the leg that are deeper, mm -hmm. um, they might have been affected by the fall. Yeah. So I think we'll have you um, get checked out um, elsewhere for that because okay. I'm a specialist for that. Okay. But what I'll do is I'll have you um, refer to my friend. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do sharp, dull, or cold on the other places here, the other scar tissue. Okay. Um, so on that one, I know it's the cold one, but it doesn't, I don't feel cold. I just feel smooth. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, it's not sensitive to temperature? No. Sharp. Dull. Uh, uh, cold? Yes. Sharp. Cold. Dull. Okay, perfect. Let's do the same okay. test on this one right here. Okay. Um, cold. Sharp. Cold. Sharp. Um, uh, dull. Cold. Sharp. Dull. Oh, sorry. Cold. Dull. Good job. So you're getting most of them correct. Thank you. I'm going to do a really quick um, gentle massage. Thank you. Just help release um, the inflammation that you've got going on. That's very nice, thank you. You're welcome. I'll have you close your eyes and I want you to tell me um, what this feels like on your on your knee. Uh, by Kibo. Good. So this is just another method of reducing that inflammation there. Is there any chance you can write me a referral to get physical therapy? I definitely will. I think you Thank should you. you should definitely go to physical therapy for sure. Thank you.
What I'm going to do next is I'm going to have you lay down. Okay. I'm going to focus on that ankle, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, is it okay if I remove your socks? Yes. Okay. I love your socks, by the way. Thank you. Another thing that I wanted to do that I forgot was tapping on there. Do you feel that? Yes. And that? Yes. Barely. Gotcha. How is this knee? Any uh, surgeries on here? Uh, no. No surgeries. I'm gonna just tap on your bony prominences. Okay. Any pain? No. Ow. That's where the bruising is. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry That's about okay. that. My apologies. It's okay. It's just Let me bit. do a really quick measurement okay. there, okay? Yeah. It's just very tender. Yeah, so sorry. Okay, so the bruise here, it looks like it's two inches long and just about two inches wide. Okay, let me just check that with my other measuring tool. 3.4. Let me measure the angle to see if this one's more swollen uh, than this one. Okay. So, uh, so I'm just going to measure this. So that's eight and a half inches. Okay. The calf ear. Are you able to go like this? Yes. Eight and a half, so it's the same, so it's not swollen. Thirteen, perfect. Good news is, is they're not necessarily swollen right now. Let okay. me check. Nine. All right, okay. Let's do a quick um, sensation test. So I'll do that more so right here to see if you can feel. Okay. This is sharp. Okay. This is dull. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Sharp, dull, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, sharp, dull, sharp, sharp, dull. Bring that one up if you can. Sharp. Dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull. It's too sharp, dull, or cold. Cold. Dull. Sharp. Cold. Sharp. 
Sto. Cold. Sto. Sharp. 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 Cold. Sharp. Do. Do. Sharp. Cold. Okay. I'm going to use my acupressure tool and I just want you to say yes when you feel it. Uh, yes. 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 All right, now were your toes hurt at all? No. Okay. I'm just gonna wiggle them, just check, uh, double check to see if there's any discomfort. Okay, I'm going to wiggle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, just tell me which one. Three, two, five, four, one, one, two, two, four, three, four, three, five, five, two, two. I'm going to go ahead and measure the toes really quick. Just scrape one toe, just um, say which one it is. Okay. Three. One. Five. Two. Four. One. Three. Two. Four. I'm going to write a letter on your uh, top of your feet here, okay. and I just want you to spell them and then spell the name after, or say the name or the okay. word after. I'm going to spell a word. A. S. M. R. Perfect. I'm um, just going to put your socks back on. Thank you. Okay, Lucy, so I think you're a little bit banged up. Um, it didn't seem like you had any more signs of uh, fainting throughout mm -hmm. the examination. Um, but please be careful. Make mm -hmm. sure you get lots of rest tonight. Yeah. If you feel dizzy again, just make sure you have your phone by you so you can call someone. Yeah. Um, I think you were just pretty banged up. I'm surprised you didn't get a concussion. Yeah. So. I would get that rest and uh, make sure you're doing lots of water and maybe take some ibuprofen for the pain. Definitely. Um, and your ankle, it's not super swollen. I just see a bruise, which okay. is um, normal. I see it healing. Okay. 
Should I ice it or heat it? Or? I would say ice. ice yeah, it? Okay. definitely. I would say ice your ice your ankle and heat your um, your neck and shoulder area. Okay, thank you. Do you have a heating pad at home? I do. Yeah. Good. I would use that. Okay. Other than that, if you have any other concerns, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye.